Councilors Kadeem? Here. Dion? Kilby? Here. La Liberty? Here. Pelletier? Pereira? Here. Raposo? Here. Washington? Here. President Kamara? Motion open up here. Pursuant Second. to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or visual recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings and transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Motion uh, the Councilor Raposa, open the meeting. Yes, please. There is a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. The first um, item on the agenda is Peter Whalen, 101 Miller Drive, North Dartmouth, um, for removal of curbing as follows. On 4 Judson Street, 18-inch opening, curb to be removed, 20. Combined proposed alteration will be 38 feet. Are there any proponents? Are there any opponents? Item number two, the acceptance of Small Street extending from President Avenue to the dead end. <clears throat> Are there any proponents? Any opponents? Item number three, the acceptance of Courtney Street extending from Highland Avenue to Fieldstone Lane. Any proponents? Any opponents? Motion to close the public hearing. There is a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We gotta wait a minute because it's not six o'clock. For citizen input, the first one on the list. Pardon? It's not, time it's not six yet. It's not six yet. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, we got 30 half seconds. a second. Okay. <laughs> you know me, I like to go, go, go. We'll give you the heads up. No. What? We'll give you the heads up. <laughs> Okay, it has reached six o'clock. So the committee on um, finance come to order following the public hearing six o'clock. If the clerk call the roll. Councilors Kadeem? Here. Dion? Here. Kilby? Here. La Liberty? Here. Pelletier? Pereira? Here. Raposo? Here. Washington? Here. President Kamara? Two people have signed up for citizen input. The first one is Alexander Silva, Sylvia, and his um, subject is Bank Street Armory. Alexander Silva, 148 Purchase Street. Um, counselors, by itself, the proposal to convert the Bank Street Armory into housing is a good proposal for the city of Fall River that will ensure this neglected, underutilized historic resource is redeveloped for future use. However, the problem is that the proposal is by itself. 
When looking to redevelop an important property, most municipalities seek to solicit the maximum number of potential bidders to improve the chances of getting the best results possible for the community. Instead of casting a wide net to get, a, to get different ideas and options for the armory, the city did the legal bare minimum and as a result only received one proposal. Rather than putting the request for proposals out in the standard databases accessible to bidders around the state, region, and country, there was only a single ad in the local paper. The Armory's RFP wasn't advertised in the state's central register, uh, like most other public solicitations. It wasn't even listed on Fall River's own purchasing webpage. If the city truly wanted to transform the Armory into some kind of entertainment or performance venue, then the city should issue the request for proposals again specifically tailored to that vision and make sure as many prospective bidders see it as possible. If the Armory is converted into housing, the city would lose the opportunity for the iconic building to act as a major economic catalyst connecting Fall River's downtown and waterfront. There doesn't have to be a timeline to sell the Armory for it to become anything less than what the community wants it to be. The only timeline is a result of the ongoing demolition of the building through neglect, uh, which could be halted with stabilization efforts and then recouped in the sale price. The Bank Street Armory means a lot to many people. It deserves the chance to mean a lot to many more. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before I call the next speaker down, I just want to read the open meeting law. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit this meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present, and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Next, we have Danny Robillard. Subject matter, Old Second Street Alley. President Kamara, members of the council, Dan Robillard, 145 Old Second Street. Before I begin, I want to make a, a short statement that I speak here tonight only for myself and not on behalf of any board or commission that I might serve on. Furthermore, I'm not speaking for any of the residents of the Hudner Building. I speak only for myself tonight. About Two years ago, uh, the city planner and a number of city groups had the idea to attempt to revitalize the old Second Street Alley. While the plan might have been good in theory, it has turned out to be an absolute disaster. They brought tables and chairs in, and as a result, first of all, I don't think the place looks that good to begin with. Okay, I think the plant is ugly. But beyond that, the tables and chairs have brought in uh, and the homeless element. People are congregating there uh, almost around the clock. There's drugs being done, alcohol being done. I've seen Narcan used there by medical professionals at least three times in the last year. If something is not done, Somebody will die, in my opinion, okay? You have two housing complexes right in, at the base of this alley. <coughs> the Hunter building where I reside and the academy building right on the side of it, okay? Now, I judge no one. If there are people there that need treatment, they need shelter, they need uh, housing, whatever they need, get them the services they need but get them out of this alley. They are disrupting the quality of life of the residents of these two buildings. Once again, I judge nobody. Society could judge me every second of every day. This is not about their needs and the problems that they face. This is about congregation in an alleyway that is centered right in the middle of two elderly and disabled housing complexes. About a year ago, there was a petition signed by at least residents and ownership of the Hudner building. I'm not sure if the Academy building was involved or not. As far as I know, that petition uh, died 
in committee. I'm not sure of the exact set, uh, status of it, but I'd like to see it resurrected. I'd like to see a meeting held, and I'd really like to see uh, that alley cleaned up, because if not, somebody will die there. I've lived there 22 years. The last two and a half have been hell on earth because of this issue. Okay? Thank you, Mr. Robolano. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Item number two, a discussion with regards hiring and retaining police officers. It was tabled on 12-27-22. Need a motion to lift from the table? Motion so made. Second. Second. Motion is made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Come down, please. You can bring her down. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Seth Aiken, City Administrator. Good evening, Seth. We just had this on the table, so we figured we'd have some discussion on it. It was last year before, I mean, the December 27th, right after, in between the Christmas and New Year's holidays, and we uh, tabled it for now. So do you want to give us a, an opening on what's being made, or you want to just have councils ask you questions? Uh, either way. I, I can very briefly uh, bring us up to date. Is that okay? It's up to you. Sure. Great. Um, Okay, so as you know, uh, in December this was raised, um, and I believe patrol came down. Uh, there were some very serious concerns uh, that the administration was was equally sensitive to. Public safety is is frankly everything. Uh, if you don't have that, it's really hard to to build a, a city that people feel safe and and, and good about. Uh, and there's a lot of great things happening in the city, and I think public safety underpins all of it. Um, with regard to uh, the issues that existed in December. Some of those have been addressed um, with the uh, new um, MOU that was signed with patrol in February that was ratified to this council uh, and then adjusted through the superiors MOU that was, um, I believe, agreed on in April uh, and then ratified by this council in June. Um, the idea there was that um, for uh, many years, um, just because the city was, was cash poor, we were not able to offer raises to uh, patrol and superior officers and police, uh, and that allowed us to fall significantly behind surrounding communities. Um, and uh, the result was, of course, that we were having trouble retaining and recruiting uh, the best officers uh, for our police department. Uh, so what we did uh, with the new wage scale uh, that this council uh, did ratify was bring up uh, a new officer um, to a wage that is close to what uh, the surrounding communities on the average are paying, it allows us to compete for officers. And um, in addition to that, uh, we have a loan program that if an officer begins the academy, uh, we pay for the academy, we pay for the equipment. Uh, we It's about $9,000. Uh, that was a pretty significant bar to uh, recruitment for some officers. Um, they would have to pay out of their own pocket and then uh, basically hope for the best in their police career to ultimately recoup that over time. Uh, what we do now is we loan them that money, and if they stay for three years, the loan turns into a grant and it's forgiven. Um, so that, um, I believe, has lowered the bar uh, to join the police force. The new wage scale, I think, has certainly made it easier for officers to um, uh, support their families uh, and, and basically do the job that is so important to the city. One of the things that we look at is obviously manpower, uh, and I don't mean that person power, officer power, I apologize for the, the, for the gender specific term, but manpower. Um, we are still short. Uh, I think at the time we were 22 officers down, we're still 18 officers down. Um, that is in <coughs> large part attributable to the attrition of retirement uh, with a few officers that have left uh, for disciplinary reasons. Um, in this since, uh, well, at least in 2023, so in the last um, seven months, there have been no officers that have left voluntarily. Um, so I think that's a good thing and that's a change. In the last two years prior to that, there were six officers that left voluntarily, not retired, not disciplined, but just left either to go to other um, uh, smaller police departments uh, or to change professions entirely. One, I believe, left to become a photographer. 
Um, and so we have not lost any officers due to voluntary <coughs> attrition. And um, in addition to manpower, I think availability is the other thing that the police look at. We have been able to successfully um, bring on a group of uh, young, motivated, um, really effective officers who are working more shifts. Um, and so the availability piece is, is how can you deploy your assets to meet the needs of the department at any given time. And that's not simply a manpower, how many people do we have issue. It's how many people do we have working how many shifts. And so in June of 2022, there were, um, I believe, 83 shifts where we needed to force officers to fill those shifts. In 2023, June, so last month, we only had to do that 35 times. So less than half the number of times we've had to force officers uh, year to year. Um, so 35 versus 83 uh, forces is a pretty significant reduction, and I think that speaks to the availability issue um, perhaps even more uh, compellingly than the, the manpower issue. I think in the next six months, you're gonna see that manpower issue change somewhat. Um, that takes a little bit of time because you're putting people through the academy. That's a multi-month process. And then after that, there's a process for the field training officer for then the officers to hit the street. So, so I think there's probably a year before we actually see a significant manpower change. In terms of availability, we're already seeing an effect. Um, and I think morale is better. Um, and with that, I will uh, take questions. Thank you. Council Seat 6, Council Vice President Pereira. Um, I have to tell you, I'm glad that you're here, Mr. Aiken. However, it's disappointing to me that we're talking about police issues and the chief not be here. Did we invite the chief? We did invite the, the chief, Lauren. That, to me, is disappointing because some of the questions that I would have is, what are we spending for overtime money on additional police, um, a discussion regarding how many officers do we have that are looking at gangs, guns, shootings. Because I, I see sometimes on Facebook, oh, there was a shooting here and there, and I talked to the chief, and that's not true. There wasn't a shooting there. So I think people read things and assume that there was a shooting or a stabbing, and it was a drive-by when it's maybe a domestic violence, which still isn't right. but. And what are we doing with traffic details to alleviate some of our offices from having to take overtime or to do double duty? Because offices today on the street are not dealing with what they dealt with 10, 15, 20 years ago, and they need to decompress. You don't want to burn people out, or if they make a mistake because they're just overwhelmed, then you know it's a discipline action. Uh, the morale, I've heard good, I've heard bad. And that's what I'll tell you. I did meet with two officers yesterday because neighbors had concern over an individual neighbor that they hadn't seen. There was no nurses going in, the cars disappearing, people are moving stuff, and they called for a wellness check. And I have to say, I was super impressed with the two young officers that showed up. They did an exemplary job. Um, you know, So I think that there's good that's happening too, but I think that sometimes people look at a negative on Fall River being a very violent community when, I mean, to just today, a detective in New Bedford was shot. I mean, he's I'm, you know, getting better. I mean, it wasn't fatal, but it's scary for officers. And those were some of the other questions I have. Like, for example, you go to the police academy, you come back, how long are you in a car with another officer before you're on the street. Do you know that answer? How many months it is? Um, let's see, so. Usually eight to 12. Yeah, it's, it's usually eight to 12 months. I can give you the specific number. So in the chief's defense, he, he and I had a conversation about this and he goes, do you need me there? Um, there's some operational stuff that he shared with me and he said, there's just a lot going on. Can you handle this? And I said, yes. So I apologize. If, we can always have him come back, Councilor. Um, so I think I, I'd like to do that. I <coughs> think I would like to table this again. Well, let's let's get let's see if some of the you know, have questions. You hadn't answered some questions. I mean, what I just think people people <coughs> need to have answers. We haven't had a press conference on shootings or whatever, and people are wondering, is it bad? And I don't think it's that bad. So let the the chief take credit with his offices for the good that's being done, rather than have negative uh, shined on it. And if he asked you whether or not he had to be here, 
With all due respect, uh, Mr. Akins, that's not your call. That's the president's call. Not your call. Okay. It's the president's call. Am I right? Well, Counselor, yes and no. First of all, the resolution is about hiring and retaining officers right. and administrators and stuff. The chief, like I said, was kind of, we put this agenda together. He got the notice. Um, Seth and him had a conversation. He felt he could handle the questions. Let it run its course. Let the council get its questions. And we can always have the chief come back. He's not afraid to come to the council meeting. I so agree. I don't we, think we, that he's afraid to come. Let, but let if he couldn't course, come, let's if get he the couldn't come and he there. spoke to you, <clears throat> then you could have put it on another day. I'm not saying that the chief, you know, isn't competent to be yeah. here. I believe he is. But I just, I yeah. feel bad that he's not. And if he couldn't come, so I didn't say he, he couldn't come. Through you. I, said, I didn't say he couldn't come. I did not speak to the chief personally. So, but I was told, I told him, you're invited. If you yeah. can make it, that's fine. If not, we can do it another time or okay. whatever. But let it run its course. Let's get the I answers just think out it been about good. hiring and retaining police officers. People that's like what it's about. Team. It's an administrative. So I'll, I'll that's what it is. May I? I'm sorry. It's With that, I yield. Thank you, Councilor. That's okay, Councilor. Sure. We're, we're good. I yield. Go Council C4, Councilor Liberty. <laughs> Um, I just have a question. Did you say that no officers have left in the last seven months to go elsewhere? No voluntary. So there's been no, no voluntary departures to other departments. When did Sergeant Smith leave? Sergeant Smith, I thought, was a retirement, no? No. No. There was one this week. I think there's the been. State. And do we know if the three officers that were going to the fire department, did they go to the fire department? So that was last year. One did go to the fire department. Two rescinded their transfer to the fire department when we signed the new MOU. Uh, we are going to table this and have it again with it's, Chief. It's up to the will of the council. Okay. I'll yield for now. Thank you. Thank you. Council CD, Council Washington. I'll yield if we're going to table this for another meeting. Okay. This are there any further yeah. questions? Council C3, Council Kildee. Yeah, just, just a quick comment. I, I don't think it does anyone any good to, um, forgive me, just blast someone for not being here with the complexities of, of his job and his position. You don't know what may be happening, and there's an officer here, obviously. There may be a crisis, there may be something happening within the city that prevents the chief of police from being here. So I think to go off a little bit on, um, on that, Council Prayer, I'm sorry, but I, I have to say what I have to That's say. It's okay. You have your um, opinion. I have it, 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 Council, I don't think he has the floor. So Council three, three has the floor. Yes. And Council Prayer, thank you for being stable and very logical in terms of your approach to being president, which I enjoy. I think we're but logical. But I, I think that um, we can handle <coughs> this and we can ha have him come in at a later date to go over this very important issue because I have some questions too. But this this probably a logical reason why... He couldn't be here, so thank you. Thank you, Council. You yield? Yes, I do. Thank you. Council C2, Council Dion? I only have one question. <clears throat> you made um, note of the fact that uh, we were down to, uh, to two, 22 officers. Now we're, we have 18. So we, we've And does that include the academy you're speaking of, the one, or does it not? So that includes, um, so we, we've hired 13 officers, well, our Big picture answer, and I'll, I'll answer the specific question, but just so you have the context. Um, in 2023, we've hired 14 officers plus one environmental police officer, which makes the number of environmental police officers two. two. So it's a it's a 15 officer addition so far in 2023 in the years halfway through. We hired a total of 18 in 2022. Um, so the fact that we're down um, 18 total does include the nine officers that just graduated from the academy. Uh, they're not away from their field training officers yet, but they'll be uh, on the road later at the very end of this year. Um, and then the, um, the 18, to some extent, includes retirements, other just general attrition that, you know, that we were expecting or aware of. So essentially, in the last say two years, we'll call it two years, between retirements, involuntary departures, voluntary departures, and academies, we've only gained four officers. We went from 22 vacancies to 18. So uh, that tells us we had a lot of departures. Um, I don't think it's as simple as that. Like, I, I, I think, I guess we could, we could say that, right? But I don't think it's actually that simple. Uh, because, you know, every year you're going to count on some retirements. Um, sure. Every year, 
you know, you might count on any number of other reasons why somebody might either depart to go to a different department or change careers, whatever. And then you have a number of officers you can count on, on bringing in. Um, the fact that we had the 22 and that we reduced that by four, I think actually suggests a, a bigger gain than just those four spots. Um, the fact that we had two officers that were transferring to fire that rescinded their transfer um, is certainly very positive. The fact that over the last two years we had six officers voluntarily just leave not for medical, not for retirement, not for discipline, and we haven't had any in th that I'm aware of, and I can check on Sergeant Smith, um, in the last several months I think is certainly uh, indicative of some change uh, that we'll probably see continue to improve over the next six months to a year. Okay, my, uh, and I said I had one question, but I lied. I have two, a second <laughs> one. So as much as people hate it, and it's done all the time, how do we fare compared to New Bedford in terms of retention and this, numbers. the numbers, et cetera? Do we know? Um, and and if, if they're doing better than us, what are they doing differently that we should do? Or if we're doing better, good for us. So one of the things I've learned the hard way in this job is, is not to guess or speculate, even when I really want to, to be helpful. Um, my sense is that we are doing better. Uh, there's a lot of vacancies in New Bedford. Um, but uh, I can get you the actual numbers and uh, confirm that sense. Okay, maybe we can have that one next time on the sure. chief here. With that, I yield. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Any further questions? Okay. Councilor C1, Councilor Kadeem. Just one quick question. Um, so the... When it's time to talk about manning hours, do you have the IOD numbers as well? I do not. I so mean, can, can you I get, can get them. Yeah, sure. if you can get that, because I, I think the injured on duty numbers are also going to play into how many actual, uh, you know, from a staffing level, how many people we have to be able to operate the department with. Um, and comp time retirement right. numbers. Right. With that, I yield. Thanks. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Seat 8, Councilor Washington, final question. No. Um, What's that? I yield. Yep. Thank you. Just want to make sure that everyone understands. The resolution that was tabled was for hiring and retaining police officers. There might be other questions that we want to talk about, violence in our community, if that's one of them. We probably need to file a new resolution so we can better prepare everyone for what we're going to talk about. So I just wanted to make it clear with everyone. Um, we motion to table has been made by Second. Council Second. C3 and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion is now tabled. Motion to adjourn finance. Motion Second. to adjourn finance is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Finance is now adjourned. City Council meeting will begin at 7 o'clock. Council, please come to order. Clerk will call the roll. Councilor Skadim? Here. Dion? Here. Kilby? Here. La Liberty? Here. Pelletier? Herrera? Here. Raposo? Here. Washington? Here. President Kamara? Here. Will everyone in the council chair please rise for a moment of silent prayer? Can we keep Leo in our thoughts for tomorrow? We can keep Councilor Pelletier, who's going to go into surgery tomorrow, in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you, Councilor. Please remain standing for a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit this meeting to any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present, and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Madam Clerk. The first item is the Mayor's request for the confirmation of the appointment of Dennis Soares to the Cultural Council. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve confirmation is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. The second is a request for the confirmation <coughs> of the appointment of John LaPointe to the Traffic Commission. Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion to confirm has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 
Item number three is a communication from the mayor and a proposal regarding the Bank Street uh, proposal, excuse me, um, review and recommendation um, with regard to the Bank Street Armory. Second. Motion for finance has been made and seconded on the motion, Council C2. Yeah, I'd just like to make some comments on this. Um, and I get it's going to finance and we'll have our opportunity, but I wasn't here at the last meeting when the armory was discussed. Um, there's been some misinformation on it saying that the possession never went to the RDA when in fact it really did. Um, I'd like to know what the appraised value, so people can be prepared. When we have it in finance, I'd like to have people here who can answer these questions, I guess is my point. Um, Could you be free to invite anyone, I'll ask anyone who they want to invite. Yeah, so make sure because one of the things that was in here originally, the disposition of the armory to a private developer shall be for a, dis, uh, a disposition price of not less than the assessed value of the armory at the time of said disposition. I don't know that 200000 is the uh, assessed value. Um, also, I am having a very hard time with the fact that four, just shy of $400,000 in taxpayer dollars have gone into that building and we're gonna sell it to somebody for $200,000, to me that's slapping the taxpayers in the face. When you take their money and spend double what you're selling it to a developer for, I don't care who the developer is or where they come from, that's a slap in the face in my book. Um, it, it's just, I don't know. It's not something I can support and for me there's gonna have to be some serious changes to support selling that Omri. With that, I'll yield. Thank you, Councilor. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number four is a commun uh, communication from the mayor and a proposal for Bristol <coughs> County opera funding in the amount of $450,000 for the preliminary design efforts in Stafford Square. Motion to refer to finance. Second. Motion to refer to finance as a made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item five is the mayor's communication and proposal for Bristol County Opera funding in the amount of $3 million for the city's particip participation in the Route 79 project to upgrade the drainage system and other improvements in this area. Say motion, please. Finance. Second. Motion for the finance has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. On the motion, uh, Council Seat 7, Council Proposal. Yeah, just, just a clarification question. <coughs> this $3 million is a part of the $6 million, six million which on our list mm -hmm. is the un unidentified water project. Yeah. Of the Bristol County Opera Funds? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I yield. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. <coughs> motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? I have aye. heard ayes. Any opposed? Motion carries. Items referred to finance. Item six is a communication from the mayor in an order requesting approval of a five-year contract for bus, uh, school bus transportation with Whaling, Whaling City Transit. We also received a communication uh, from the school committee indicating that this uh, vote, a vote was taken last evening with the school committee and there was a favorable vote taken. Can you repeat that, Madam I have a question. No, the favorable. school committee did vote on this as well last evening, and the vote taken was a favorable vote. Was it a unanimous vote? It was 4-2. No. 4-2. Mm -hmm. Motion to adopt. Second. Motion would be to accept the communication, place on file, adopt the order, and refer the item to finance. Is that the motion, Councilor? Yes. Second. And seconded on the motion, Council six cents, Council Vice President Perrano. Second. The only question I have, is there a time limit on on this uh, to get these contracts out because then we don't have another meeting until end of August. August, yeah, you know, so I'm just not sure. That's the only question I had. No one knows. Is there a time limit on this or not? How soon? Can we make a motion to waive the rules, rules to have, have them come down? down? Second. Second. Motion to waive the rules remain second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Come on down, please, Mr. Chico. Do 
Do I still have the floor, Mr. President? Um, Mr. Pacheco, and if you, I guess you have to identify yourself. I'm sorry. Uh, Ken Pacheco, COO for the public schools. Uh, Rich Labrie, consultant to the mayor with regard to the electric bus project. Thank you. Um, when do you have to have this vote from the council <coughs> by? Um, so the, the, the term, the five-year term is what's in question, not the right. contract itself, because the contract <coughs> itself is approved by the school committee. OK, but just the five years. So I'm only looking for the term. I can't, we can't do the term without permission from the council. So, so it's just So you're not going to be able term. to put out a bid for five years unless you It's not a bid. So I, this I mean, is already, it's, this, the, the contract, contract is already, the agreement has been approved by the school committee. It's just a term that's, that's in question. And the term of the contract, the term of the agreement that we're looking for, an extension of the current um, RFP that went out in uh, 2020, 2020. Um, was um, listed as all of the uh, routes, all of the particulars of the contract. So what we're looking for is that term. And the reason we're looking for that term is that we're ready to start doing the infrastructure at the Whaling City Depot. And obviously, Whaling City does not want construction going on in their site unless they have a contract. Um, so that's the urgency of the, of the uh, request. When, when the electric bus uh, project was accepted, uh, the grant money from EPA and the Clean Energy Commission, the commitment by the city was to operate the school buses for a minimum of five years. The contractor also had to make a commitment to operate the school buses for five years, which outlived the term of her original contract, hence uh, disagreement for, uh, for the additional five years. So it brings the contract coterminous with the commitment with regard to the uh, uh, EPA grants and the CEC grants for the electric buses. So we need a motion to approve for the five years. <coughs> And it does not have to that, go to finance. Or does it take time? Uh, Mr. President? I was under the impression it needs to go to the finance committee, but it does not need to go to it finance. It doesn't because there's no fine. Well, then I would make a motion that um, we approve for the five year. Okay. Do you yield, Councilor? Pardon? Do you yield, Councilor? Yeah, I made a motion. Adopting, I'm just adopting for a second. Is, it's included in the adoption. Motion? The motion was to go to finance where it doesn't need to go to finance. Do you want to change it? I'll amend the motion. Motion. Thank you. Uh, motion to approve the five-year contract. Okay. Second. For the electric buses. Thank you. On the motion to approve the five-year contract, do you, Councilor? I do. Councilor C1, Councilor Dean. Thank you, Mr. President. So, so I recognize as a legislative body, we've got to approve contracts anything over three years. <clears throat> so my, I guess I just heard that so the EPA grant is requiring a five-year right. operation or? No, what it's requiring is, is that we have an agreement in place for the operation of the bus for five years. Okay. And without an extension, so to speak, mm -hmm. we don't have that. Yep. Um, so then my other question is, is just seeing that there were two opposed, it would, were there any, was there any reason given for the opposition for the two uh, committee members in terms of the duration or the term of the contract? The, the opposition, if I understand it, as I was there, um, was that the proced procedurally, it wasn't presented to the school committee prior to the need for the five-year contract. Gotcha. So it wasn't really necessarily any issues with the five-year contract, just no, the procedural just the, portion right. of it. <clears throat> exactly. Okay. I yield. Thank you, Councilor. Any other questions? Motion to adopt, approve has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much, General, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Clerk. Item seven is the FY23 quarter four budget report. Motion, Motion. for to finance. Second. Motion for the committee of finance has been made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have the traffic commission recommending amendments to the traffic ordinances. Motion to refer to ordinances. Second. second. Motion for the committee of ordinances legislation has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item nine is a communication from the chair of the Fall River Historical Commission requesting an appointment, one appointment to the, um, by the city council to the commission, uh, historical commission. Motion to accept, place on file. Motion to accept, place on file. Has second. made it second. seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have a uh, citation for Richard and Debbie Danner. 
Motion to approve. Second. Motion to adopt the citation has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mr. President. Council seats. Right, Can six. I just say something about Rick and, and Debbie Dana? Absolutely. These are two people that do a lot, a lot of work for the library, donate a lot of time, and they're great uh, donators and contributors to all things kids. But they also were instrumental in paying for changes in latitude and the concert that was held yesterday, and they've done that in the past. They're just great people and been doing a lot of work, and sometimes I just don't think that we stop and thank people um, that do so much and contribute so much to the city. So I thank everyone for um, approving this citation for them. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Good work. Motion to adopt the remaining second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 11 is a citation for Bobby Justin. Motion to adopt. Second. second. Motion to adopt the remaining and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have the order granting permission to Peter Whalen for the removal of curbing on 4 Judson Street. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to adopt has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> have the police chief's report <coughs> on licenses? Motion to adopt. Second. Motion to adopt has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 14 is a request to um, revoke a storage permit um, for the property located at. Uh, What's that? 32 Williams Street. Three, yes. 323 Williams Street, Ken Boulevard. Exactly. Um, this, the tanks were not installed at this location, so that it is not necessary. Motion to revoke. Second. Which would be to adopt, which would be Motion revoking adopt. it. Thank Second. You. Motion to adopt has been made and seconded. On the motion, Council seat seven, Council proposal. So just curious, were there, was there a change in plans for this property? Because I, if I'm correct here, wasn't this supposed to be the property that was supposed to become a gas station? Yes. That was recently demolished? So yes. So is there a change of plans for the property now? I, I, as, I assume there are. Um, they got in touch with our office and said that they never installed the tanks yep. and they're, they're not planning on moving forward. So what is it? Do we know if it's a different developer that's going to develop the land, or we do not know that. That's all they told us, and we did confirm with the fire department that the tanks were never installed. So, okay. would it be possible to find out, get an update on what that property was sure. going to become? That'd be good. We can check with the planning department. Excellent. Thank you very much. I yield. Thank you, Council. Motion to adopt is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have a number of claims. Motion to refer to Corporation Council. Motion to refer to Corporation second. Council has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 16. Item 16 is a communication from Robert Shank regarding a water drain repair reimbursement. He also filed a claim, uh, which is what was just referred to the Corporation Council. Okay. Entertain a motion before you call on people to speak on. They can't speak without having a motion in a second. Is there a motion to accept the place on file? So moved. Second. Motion is made and seconded. On the motion, Council seat six, Council Vice President Perra. The only question I have is uh, Mr. Shank had a pipe that broke from the street to his house. It was a lead pipe. And there was one other one at the last council meeting that came in from someone. Now, we took OPA money, and I believe uh, Council Dion was instrumental in putting OPA money into water to do the, the lead pipes. Now, this is a lead service that the city would have had to do. Now that it broke before the city got there, now the homeowner is paying, and they don't feel it's fair that all the other ones in the city that are being replaced are being replaced with the OPA money, and they're not um, because it broke. So I don't know what committee this should go to or where, but I think there's an injustice here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I know that the drain layer that did this particular one, I know he called the city to send a bill to the city, which was less expensive than what it's going to cost the city to do it. So I, I, I don't understand. I don't Pu know what committee, Public but I, works. I think we need to look look into this. Public, Public works. works and transportation. And there was one, the file, you know, the week uh, previous, our previous council meeting. If we could send a copy of that to, to Public Works and Transportation. Second. 
Motion has been made to refer the public works of transportation. Second. And seconded. On the motion, Council C4, Council Liberty. I just have one question, Madam Clerk. Did this also get sent to Mr. Furland? And it was emailed to us. Was it also emailed to Mr. Furland? Um, yeah, I think the claim right. itself was referred to Mr. Furland. Did it have this letter with it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that was part of okay, the claim. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Mm -hmm. Motion to refer to Committee on Public Works has made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mm -hmm. Do we take a recess? No. Uh, we have a drain layer license on behalf of Mike Andrade Excavation. Motion so approved. Second. Motion is approved and made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I have the final report on the acceptance of Small Street extending from President Avenue to a dead end. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We have the final report on the acceptance of Courtney Street extending from Highland Avenue to Fieldstone Lane. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Motion to take 20 through 22 together. Second. Second. Motion to take uh, If I may, if we could uh, take 20 and 21 together. I'll Motion to make 20 why. and 21 together. <laughs> Second. Motion to take items 20 and 21 together has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, on item 20 and 21. 20 and 21 would be minutes of the, uh, 20 is minutes of the June City public Council hearing. public hearing held on June 27th, and the Committee on Finance held on June 27th, 23 is number 21. Motion to approve. Motion second. to approve has been made second. and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item 22 are minutes of the regular meeting of the City Council held on June 27th. Um, we noticed a clerical error on the minutes this afternoon. So um, if we could make a motion to amend as, uh, approve as amended, Councilor Kadim is listed as I'll make president. I'll motion and to approve as to amended. Second. Second. That's a, it's good if I could pull it off. If I, if I got the option, I want to say I was could. present. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to approve as amended has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, item 23 is a communication from DPU, a notification of a public hearing. Motion to accept and place on file. Second. Motion to accept and place on file has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. We're going to have a brief recess. Council recess for two minutes. Yes, Street acceptance plans first.
City Council reconvene. Um, there is no vote taken on these here, so we are ready to adjourn. Motion, Motion to, to adjourn. adjourn. Motion to adjourn is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? City Council meeting is now adjourned. Good night, everyone.